Everyone is part of a bigger story. It's a bigger story than you can imagine. It's a big story about a really big God. Discover the story that shows you the character of God. Hey, I'm Caleb, and I can't wait for you to check out my Bible. 66 books recorded over hundreds of years. You'll find history, poetry, letters, and words of wisdom. Together, they paint a picture of our amazing God. In the beginning, God created everything from nothing. Out of a deep, deep love, God made people in the very image of God. But we broke our relationship with God. Instead of leaving us on our own though, God's own son, Jesus, came to live on this earth as a human and to lay down his life for us. That's the most incredible display of humility ever. And I have five stories from the life of Jesus to show you what it looks like. We get started in the New Testament book of John. Here, Jesus enters Jerusalem to the cheers of a huge crowd. But even though his followers welcome Jesus as a king, he doesn't lord it over them. Instead, Jesus takes on one of the dirtiest jobs of a servant to care for his friends. We stay in John for our next story. The religious leaders have been looking for a way to get rid of Jesus. They arrest him, hold a mock trial, and send Jesus to the Roman governor who sentences him to die. Nailed to a rough cross, Jesus gives up his life. It's the darkest hour of history. But the story's not over because God's power is about to prove stronger than death. We hop over to the book of Philippians now. Here, the Apostle Paul writes a challenge to the believers in the young church at Philippi. As you deal with one another, you should think and act as Jesus did. Jesus was equal with God, but Jesus didn't take advantage of that fact. Instead, he made himself nothing. He did this by taking on the nature of a servant. He was humble and obeyed God completely. He did this even though it led to his death. Hmm. Time to pick up our story in Luke. It's three days after Jesus' death, and two of his followers are traveling the road from Jerusalem to Emmaus. Deep in conversation, they try to understand the confusing things that have just happened. Then, a stranger joins them and explains the whole story of Jesus. When the men stop for dinner, they discover the stranger is no stranger at all. Time to hop forward one book to John. Peter and his friends have been fishing all night with no luck. At dawn, a stranger on the shore calls out for them to throw their nets on the other side. In moments, the nets are full to bursting. It's Jesus. And after breakfast, turns out he has a lot more for Peter than just fish. Jesus gave up everything for us. And with his help, we can give up what we think we deserve to put others first. That's what true humility looks like. And I can't wait to see how it shows up in you and me.